One of the things we hear about all the time these days on the news is the possibility of voter fraud in the coming election in November 2020. And one of the traditional forms of voter fraud is having the dead vote. It goes back a long way. I can remember when I was nine years old, when John F. Kennedy became president, I heard from members of my family that the reason he won was that dead people had voted in Illinois and Chicago. That's what pushed him over the top. So is the voting by dead people an issue? Wasn't that put to rest back in the 1970s by the National Lampoon, the Babylon Bee of its day, when they said that the true silent majority in America, the true silent majority in the United States, were the dead? A large population woefully underrepresented in the Congress of the United States, where there were only a handful of dead people in the House and the Senate. Should we be concerned about the dead voting today? That's the question I want to address in this video. Keep in mind, if you go back to the colonial period and you add up all the people who've ever lived in the United States, including the people who are alive today, slightly more than half are dead. They are really the majority of Americans. Most of them were citizens, if not of the United States, of whatever colony they lived in at the time. They paid taxes. Some of them even paid taxes after they died, inheritance taxes. Many of them fought and died for our country. Many of them were enslaved and incapable of voting in their lifetime. Why shouldn't these people be heard? Why shouldn't they also have representation? They are, after all quite frankly, the true silent majority. I mean, if you know American history, you know that one of the cries at the time of the American Revolution was no taxation without representation. And also, taxation without representation is tyranny. If the dead get taxed, why shouldn't they have representation? Is that not tyranny? Now, at this point, you're probably wondering, what are you, crazy, Mike? how would we know how these dead people would vote? I don't think that's a really difficult question. All we have to do is turn to the progressives in this country. They know how everybody's supposed to vote. Ayanna Presley, black people speak with a black voice. Brown people speak with a brown voice. Muslims speak with a Muslim voice, etc. Joe Biden's showing us the way. If you vote for Trump, you ain't black. He knows how these people would vote. All progressives know how these people would vote. Every black person who's dead would vote for a Democrat. Every brown person for a Democrat. Every Asian for a Democrat. Every Native American for a Democrat. All women would vote for Democrats. If we know these people were gay or suspect they were, we just cast our votes for Democrats. If they're white women, Democrats. If they're black men with a college education, Democrats. Republicans can get the uneducated white male population. Everybody else is just thrown in as a vote for Biden and whoever Democrat is, whichever Democrat is running in their local election. What could be simpler than that? There's no problem. Progressives will tell us how these people should vote. They tell us now how living people should vote. Why not tell us how dead people vote? What's the difference? So there you have it. The dead of a true silent majority. They need representation, something beyond you know, Nancy Pelosi, Schumer, and Joe Biden, who's still alive, but he's, he's kind of brain dead. They need more representation. They should have a voice. We know that. And we know how to figure out how they would vote, this silent majority. Progressives will tell us how they should vote. What could be simpler than that? There really is no problem here. And I think we need to accept the fact that the dead people are a unrepresented, not a minority in this country, they're the unrepresented majority in this country, and they need to have their voices heard. Dead people need to speak with a dead voice. And if you, if you don't vote for Joe Biden and the Democrats, you ain't dead. So what do you think? What's your opinion about the dead voting? Let me know in a comment. And share this video with your friends, hit the like button, 
hit the notification buttons so you know when I post new videos. Subscribe to the channel. That's always helpful. And until the next time, as we confront this progressive resistance, which has taken on a very violent form, remember what we need to do is to keep fighting.